which player are you most intrigued about in 2024? Oof. The first name that jumped to mind is Ludwig. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. If really? it might just be prisoner of the moment, but uh, it's a very small sample size. But what he did in that sample size was incredible. And I'm interested to see, Greg, if he can take his 51 rounds of greatness and do it in 151 rounds. Uh, you're talking about since the 3M Open, his worst finish is tied 14th. If you look on rickrungood.com, it is dark green <laughs> off the tee at dark green approaching the green and the putt it's really good too and so is the short game this is like robot golf and for a rookie to come out and do this uh, including a win on both the dp world tour and the pga tour it's it's remarkable stuff and if there's a another movement of players heading to live sorry to bring it up again but you have some other top players leaving does it open another, uh, you know, a window for a, a historic type of season? And it, it doesn't seem like this is a big deal for him, which is kind of the crazy thing uh, and why it popped into my head so early. It seemed like this was kind of ho-hum. So I'm excited to see what he can do in designated events against all the big boys. Yeah. A couple guys, KP, that are trying to, return from either bad form or injury like Will Zal Torres, Justin Thomas came to mind. I also think of Min Woo Lee, who's been playing better. Is there somebody else who you're just excited to see, to, to follow for the next 12 months? Yeah. I mean, I always go to younger guys with this question. So two, two names, I guess three names that come to mind and we got more of one of them in, in 2023 than the other two. Gordon Sargent, obviously he's going to be, Probably, I think in his last year at Vanderbilt, we'll have his tour card whenever he decides to turn pro. And then Alex Fitzpatrick, who I was just watching at the Australian Open last week. Uh, he's had, I think, more success than maybe people thought. He's like top 200 on data golf. And then the last one is somebody that was on the Corn Ferry and was kind of like fringy Ryder Cup talk. And uh, I can't pronounce his name, but Adrian Dumont de Chasse, Ch Ch Chassier. ADDC is ACDC. what we're calling him. Did you ACDC. put him in the Ryder Cup fringe talk? Probably. <laughs> I think you did. Yeah, I, did. I think I did. So those those three are among kind of the non uh, like injured or whatever uh, established stars are, are are three that I'm very intrigued by. Yeah, and Patrick, I'll loop this back to you because that's this kind of ties into one of the questions in the comments from Curry Stew. It says, "Can you talk about new rookies who are now on tour?" And and we talked about Gordon Sargent, who when he when he turns pro is going to be in that Ludwig category. And there's a couple of other interesting guys coming up from the Corn Ferry. Like, what about like I'm excited to see Alexander Tosti, who might just burn the whole thing down. Good, bad, or indifferent. Who knows? He, yes, might, be he, our, might. he might be our new mm -hmm. Patrick Reed. I have no idea. Excited about him. Who did you have in mind, Patrick? Uh, you just mentioned him, Patrick mm -hmm. Reed. You know, five-year exemption from the 2019 Masters is coming up. What's happening with OWGR? Who knows in that case? And then Bryson DeChambeau is another name I had. Uh, you think about him getting healthy, kind of reinventing himself again. He's shelling... Uh, markers on the you know like green you know little coins yes. that you put behind your ball to mark your golf ball he's shelling them on instagram and ticcock for a 100 bucks uh i'm interested Wait, to who's see doing that bryson does, does he need money does he need money it's like a little coin that has lines on it so you can line up your golf ball with your marker he, you're going yes. for a 100 bucks it is it is a piece of like CNC milled. It's mm -hmm. a ball marker, and it's got like different lines of different amounts of of break. But I remember like the day after, maybe it wasn't the day, after, the week after signing his you know reportedly one hundred million dollar lift contract, he was posing with energy drinks and Grinding. like does he need does he Grinding. need <laughs> Gruden's grinder man? He's top I've, of the list. I've watched more Bryson YouTube content than I have live of his him on live. He's legitimately a, like a good YouTuber. He's it's fun. It's yeah, I I agree. 
I, th- I think he will threaten for a major championship again this year, like he did at Oak Hill. Bring so it he on. was on my list as well. Uh, DJ, I, I feel like he kind of just like faded into the noise towards the end of the year. He, he was one of the guys who shot like 84 at the open. I don't really know where his care level is at. And then uh, if we're trying to get young, I'm going to go with a lefty, Joe Highsmith out of Pepperdine. He was on that national championship team. He will be having his card this year. Love his swing. Love his bucket action. Hat, I think right? he's got bucket hat guy. Absolutely. I think uh, he could be a surprise rookie of the year candidate. Mm. Pearson Cody. I, I also, I, I'm going to need to see um, Max Homa at majors. Yes. Max Homa specifically at majors has my full attention. He's done. He's done everything else. He's taken the, you know, necessary steps of getting better week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. It's time for majors. I think Max might win the players. That'd be pretty cool. Just calling that shot right now, December fifth. I think Justin Thomas, play? Is, Justin Thomas is going to win the Masters. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I've I been don't know down that can, road many. I don't know if I can get on board with that. Yeah, I'm in. with I'm with Greg. I oof, that's I don't know. I, I hope he does. Been like four out of the last six years, I went down that path. Hey, Justin he, Thomas. He was he was in contention four of those, or at least in it. Yeah, hole number thirteen. Yeah. maybe it helps him though. This just is only hit, the just, second hit driver now. Just hit a straight ball. Just hit it straight. Yeah. Uh, hit, hit driver out there we'll, could help. We'll hit a break here, but Josh in the chat reminds us Norman Zhang has his uh, mm. yeah. You, know, you know what they say about form versus class, right? He's got the uh, he's got the Haskins Award. Has not been good as a professional. Has the tour card. I would love to see a Norm breakout year. He's a he's a flusher. Sweet, sweet he, swing. He hits it so good. <sighs> he's only twenty four. Yeah. That's that's Ludwig's age. Yeah, that's one thing we freak out about Ludwig, and it's like he's he's like like him Old and Hoffman are not that far apart in terms of age. Old man Ludwig. Yeah, yeah. I was I was looking at Akshay the other day. He's twenty one. Yeah, he's that's been, been a professional forever. That's different. Like that's a different <laughs> level. 